Hello, my friends. I thought we would do a little review of some of the things that I've actually done in, in these books. So I thought we'd start with uh, Daydream and see what I've done. I didn't actually mark the books, the pages. So maybe I'll just do a quick turn of each page so that if you haven't seen these books, you have a chance to see them now. I know some of the, my subscribers are new. These are um, very cute. The Daydreamer book is very nice to color in. The paper is um, very thick. And I've even done uh, watercolors in here. I've seen some of these done up so beautifully. People are just amazing on YouTube. This one, you do your own design. And Joanna um, Bashert has a, if you look on her channel, um, so many days of drawing that she teaches you how to do different things, which would be kind of fun to look up and see. I'm seeing these crowns, absolutely gorgeous. This little cat, I've seen so many times, so cute. This butterfly too, all of this is, is just, uh, when you take it a page at a time, it's just amazing what you can do with this. There's so many little doodads down here. Chip, fish, starfish, um, jellyfish. Just all kinds of little things down in the water that you don't see right away. And uh, I just think this is a, a cool picture. There's some I've been looking for in one of my books. I've seen some beautiful seahorses colored, and I, I want to try those where they almost look transparent. I did one jellyfish, I think in Johanna's book. Um, I was going by the teaching of uh, Peter Hewitt. And it really came out beautiful. Very close to hers. So it's amazing what you can do when you just slow down and do it just a little bit at a time. I've seen these bugs turn out absolutely gorgeous. Just the colors of them and the glistening of how they've, they've made them. Very, very pretty. I think I've seen a lot of these. Um, done in different ways. Um, so cute. And this one too. Very pretty. I'm trying to get this thing to be quiet. And make it go to sleep. I forget it because it goes black and then it's quiet until I start to, to video. And um, let's see if that gets a little more light. Oh, you could just get so many beautiful colors. And I've seen her done too. And here we go, my first page that I've done. I just, <laughs> I love this so much. I uh, had so much fun with it. I, I did use the Prisma colors. 
on it. I, I used um, some Distress Stink down here. And the sky, I wanted it to look a little stormy. So I used um, a chalk and I used a, a darker green. And I just made the swirls. The little mice came out so adorable and cute. I remember I did one of the flags red and I said, no, that's not going to work at all with the colors. So I erased it and I, um, I think the colors work very well together. And the little light and their little faces, they look so cute. And I did this one here with, with the teaching of the gold. Um, I think it turned out, it turned out nicely. And then I used the, um, it might have been distressed ink that I used on the background too. I'm thinking it, it is. I don't know. Once in a while I can feel it a little bit. I think it was chalk because I kind of got some here and here, and then when I sprayed it, I didn't clean it up very well, but it still turned out pretty. I've seen them where they're all gold, but I wanted to pull some of the color <coughs> on the other page. So that's why I, I did that. So I put the colors of the flag into this north, south, east, and west. This one I know I did a video with this fish. I thought these turned out absolutely gorgeous. This was um, an attempt to use Distressed Ink, and I did, on the flowers and on the lily pads. And in the little um, dragonflies. I, I just, when I first did this, I just kept looking at it thinking, wow, it's so pretty. I loved it. And then I did these two fish offline, and I did this one. Um, I filmed it. These I did with my um, ink intents. I did some of the basting with the ink intents, including this one. And then I came back in with um, pencils and um, I think a little tiny bit of distressed ink on them, too. And then I, I used... Um, a little bit of of glitter but I thought it turned out really pretty you know and at first I thought fish why would I want to paint fish but I I just loved it it was so much fun um, it sure changes your mind when you start doing something you're thinking um, how pretty that they can come out because I just gave this a light coat of the light green all over and the same with this with the light coat this one too then I came back in and I just deepened um, the different colors and used pencils and come back in with the ink and um, pencils intense pencils and just darkened their bellies and was really fun and you can tell nothing is on the other side of the page so if you don't put too much water and you're using it um, sparingly but enough you have to put enough but I use a watercolor brush I don't use the water brushes anymore I just when I, either they, the water doesn't come out or um, too much comes out or whatever, but I just I just grab my little watercolor brushes 
that are real watercolor brushes and um, they hold a lot of water they're meant for water and they they work so nicely with your with your books so you could do just about anything um, with your watercolor pencils or with your um, uh, intense pencils or you're just plain watercolors you can take a piece of plastic these are uh, plastic sheets that you buy their cutting board um, at the dollar store for dollar 25 you get two of them you can cut them up you can use them like in between your pages you can use them to scribble your colors on even your colored pencils and wet them and and color with them make them like a little palette so there's lots of lots of wonderful ways to color in your books without putting so much water in them and um okay so i did this one first and i i like the it's a different color than I normally use in the birds, but I thought they turned out very pretty. And it was all, um, I think it, it was either Prisma or Polychroma. I don't remember for sure. I know. Um, I'm going to have to put a little mark for now on or something. Anyway, and then I just filled with um, distressed ink around and let the center open. And I just used a lot of different colors. And I just, I just think it turned out pretty. Um, all of my little flying bugs, I still need to come back and fix him. I haven't yet, but, and I think him too, he needs a little gold or something to make him pop. But some of these that I used, my um, jelly um, glitter pens really turned out pretty. This one I did use um, uh, my intense ink doing the um, watercolor inside of it, all of it. And, and I have a copper watercolor in the little trays and I, I went around the out edge and then I, after it was all done, I did, I, I think I did a little bit of pencil work, but I don't think I hardly did any pencil work at all. Just gel pens and watercolors on my butterfly and then, of course, had to glitter it up a little bit, but you can see the metallic on this one. And even my butterfly or moth, whatever it is. So they're all, this one I just kind of outlined. I thought that turned out pretty cool with my uh, jelly roll pens. And I have lots of them, so I have a huge jar of them. But the one thing I learned about the jelly rolls, um, Make them the last thing you do. And um, I can't remember the one the lady suggested, and I don't know it's a jelly roll, but. Okay, I filmed these. And the question was, are these male or female? And some think they're female, and I don't know, when I look at them, I see Egyptian princes or just um, the way they look but you know it's all what you decide in your mind I thought they turned out really pretty I did the distressed ink on their hair I went into their crown their jewelry and did the distressed ink before I come back with um, I used gold jelly roll and a a green one on these and that's basically besides their skin all that I used um, 
a pencil on and I did do these with the um, Prisma or Polychromo um, pencils. At first I kept thinking their skin is too orange or, and it just it bothered me, but um, it's really not. They're very pretty. Very handsome or very pretty, whichever you choose, man or woman. I, I see in Europe, the men are growing their hair longer than the women. Um, so I guess it doesn't really matter. This one I had fun with. I did a lot of um, the gold ink pen and I did all the different color um, I have some metallic paint and I did that in their tail the different colors and again you can tell it didn't it didn't come through because I used my paint brushes and um, and I sprayed my palette my little case and um, I just kept dipping into the water when I needed it when it quit quit using water then I knew it was time to add water I made him white um, I just brought the grays in to highlight him to let him be white and then I just took some um, distressed ink in the background and and um, just just a little bit to just he, he just looks kind of like a celebration to me the colors and I thought it turned out really really nice I really love it and I put just a little bit of diamond um, sparkles on it and I thought it turned out really pretty and I picked up all the colors that I had put in my bird because I'd done this page first and put it in here so um, pretty much did the same thing on this one as using um, my colors metallic paint and again it just it just held up really nicely and um, put a little bit of diamond glitter on this one too it just it's nice because it picks up the colors And in my flowers, I, I did use a little bit of it down here of the paint. And um, I used the jelly roll and then put another color on top of that on these little pieces. And the paint, I just, I just thought it turned out really pretty with, with the, the paint. I've got it right here. I think, yeah, I do. So this is the watercolor set for, um, and there's so many on Amazon. This is the one set that I have gotten that are metallic. Um, I just put a little water down in here. I spray these. There's a little palette back here that actually you can you can take out of there too. I haven't because I just use it and and do it right here. But I think this one runs like twenty five ninety nine or something. And uh, but there's tons and tons and tons of them. These are my watercolor that I do watercolors with. This is Hobart. My little tray. And you can just refill these. These are called half pans. And um, I've started so many people trays. And I have this one. 
also that I've used for a long time. They go, they last a long time. And as I was doing the one, the, the dirty watercolor is really the best. And I can't even remember what kind of paints these are. They were, oh, they just pop out. Let's see if it says it on the bottom. No, it's just the tray. Because I bought this, I bought this tray and I had bought the paint. I'd have to go look in my, but they all just fold up. But I always leave, if I've used these, I just spray the whole thing. And then um, I just mix my colors. But I will leave this open for uh, at least a, a 24 hours and let it dry before um, but those aren't made colors though that's just the box oh I've seen her done oh I think uh, she was just done the other day by no that's in another book she did one similar to her Now this one I've been wanting to do, but I'm like, oh my gosh, all those little circles. <laughs> one day I will do it. One day I'll just say, okay, today's the day. And this peacock, I think he would be pretty watercolor, but don't let your mind think that watercolor is faster than pencils. It's not. It really isn't. Not if you take your time and do it. It, it, it takes time to... Um, um, to really work it, but you just relax. It's a different media, but it works beautifully on here. Okay, now this one was a lot of fun. I um, got a lot of people looking at it, and I just, I did this page first, and I did this with the, um, Polycomo or Prisma. I'm never sure which one I'm using. Again, I should, but I don't. I And I can't tell. Maybe because I've only been doing this since Christmas. But anyway, so I, I did all the colors. I did the oranges and then I did the peachy color on the ends. And then the butterflies. The butterflies I just do... Uh, really heavy white and then I come in and um, I put it's called by folk art extreme silver glitter I think it's called and I put it on the wings and the bodies of these little guys and um, I have a little piece there But it just makes them like plastic or something. But they shine, shine, shine. And that, that's just like her her wings and her hair. It just looks like, um, almost like they're real or something. And I did use distressed ink in her hair too. And uh, some pencils. And that's where this... this Stuck right there on that thing. It must not have been dry. No harm. That's why I think spraying it really kind of seals it. I think she turned out really pretty. I used um, I must have used on these guys. I bet you I used uh, polychromo on their faces because I was trying to match up because him I did three different coats before I got him down he's still a little bit peachy for I don't know but with her she absolutely turned out fine and I I'm sure that's what happened is I used um, 
prism on her only because I knew use light peach and dark peach on her and I'm not sure what I used on them but that's okay and this is really really cute I've seen it done this is my favorite out of all this book I just loved how he came out I thought he just turned out beautiful so I just went through and I I hit all the raindrops heavy with white and then um, I did all the rest of him and it looks like I did him in uh, Prisma and I just thought he turned out so cute as a friend of mine it's so stinking cute <laughs> and then I just took um, chalk and I did the backgrounds I just did the swirls I wanted it to look stormy so and then I took just a tiny bit of purple at the bottom of the raindrops but isn't he cute? I just loved him. I thought it turned out so cute. And I've seen others, but I'm telling you, this is my favorite out of everybody's. I like mine the best. And that's the way it should be, huh? Then I did all of the mushrooms. And uh, I tried to make them all a little different. And I've seen, I've seen these. So I looked up some some mushrooms and mushrooms come in all kinds of colors. It's just amazing. And I just used some uh, lighter blues in the bottom and darker blues and a little bit of green in there and just mixed it with both pages because I did the same here. I did the, the aqua kind of down here and mixed a little bit of aqua but more blues and and stuff in those and And here's another one that you have to design. And I will. But I want to get it in my head. Something. But well, you know what I think I'll do is put a piece of tracing paper over him. And, um, and draw my design. That way I can erase it and, and do whatever I want to do. And then I can, I could uh, trace it on there if I wanted to. I almost did her the other day. I think this would be with all the sea stuff in her hair. Would be really pretty. I've seen so much of this. I think it's coral. I'm not sure. I don't live by the ocean. Used to years ago, but... And the little kitty. I gotta do some practicing to do those diamonds and jewels. She's piling up her jewels. <laughs> and the little queen bee's bringing her some more. All the little hooty owls. I don't know why I'm fascinated with coloring the the sea, but I I think that one's going to be really fun. And here's another one. I've seen some pretty cool things done with the with him. So I will do those. Little birds everywhere. I just like coloring in these books. They're they're nice. After I did that jellyfish, I'm ready to do more. And now I'm ready to do these fish too. <laughs> this one will be pretty. It'll take some work, but it'll be pretty. A little rooster. 
<laughs> she got herself a bird. Looks like the octopus is coming up. And... Now this one, I don't like that snake. I don't like snakes at all. I think I'm gonna I'm going to do something with his face and then I'll just do something different with his not make him a snake little tiny snakes in the in the grass is one thing dedicated to my family as it should be okay let's do the botanical and this is by Maria Roller. We're just going to do a quick flip through. I just love this. I think it's so cute. If you see their little hats look different, it's because I've, I've made them, decorated them. I was messing around. The painting on the black is so pretty. Oh, she's taking care of that little birdie. And the squirrel and the bumblebee. Am I way out of line again? I am. I'm sorry. I like this little girl. I've seen people trace her and put her in different places. We're almost to the ones where I painted them, colored them. I think some of these are like more like a fairy tale book. I have painted in here. <laughs> Colored. Now we're getting there. Okay. This one I did. A little girl sitting in the in the bushes. And I did the green. And I just trimmed them in a dark, dark purple. And the little ladybugs, I put some of that silver glitter on and this one I painted the bucket orange to bring the colors over and I did the purple around I liked how the little berries turned out and the cabbages I'm I am a gardener I love gardens and the little greenhouse she's got her fruit trees in there. I almost started to color this the other day. This one, I'm going to have fun doing that. I love coloring fruit. Oh, I started working on him. I forgot. I think I'm going to be filming that one. I like to start them and then... Okay. Now, I, 
I just I just loved this one. I loved how that frog turned out. That um, it's not an iris, but it's a, like an iris. But I can't remember how pretty. Just soothing. And this one here, I just I did use some distressed ink and just hit all the little lily pads and then I came back in with the pencil and uh, but these are mostly done with pencil so I would suspect it's Prisma I think you can almost tell by the waxy look on them what I'm seeing in the background here. I thought she turned out really pretty. I'm partial to pink, if nobody knows. Turned out really cute. I like this one. A little coyote sitting on the little dirt mound with some flowers. This one, I think I used some um, some ink pens. Looks like I watercolored some of this. I used some pencil in some of the flowers, and then polychromo or I don't know. Uh, Posca pen to make the yellow. I thought that turned out pretty. I thought he turned out real cute too. Just looking up. <laughs> like what is he looking for? This is my bowl of cherries. I, I did film. Film these. And I just love it. The cherries look all shiny and pretty. I think the little bird turned out really pretty. And the bowl I colored with a bronze um, deco art acrylic paint. I put the pencil, the green pencil down first, and then I came back in and painted that. But I was teaching how to to do the fruit. I think the plums just just plum look pretty. <laughs> they turned out really nice. And the leaves, I put a little bit of purple in those too. That just kind of down here. I used. Um, A um, stencil. I put a couple colors on it with the distressed ink. Let's see. I think that's the only one I did in here. We'll just flip through it real quick. Isn't that cute? That'll be a fun one. I, Black Eyed Susan. Oh, I love those. She's hiding in there. <laughs> I don't know what was sitting on her hand. I think a dragon, so I made some flowers. It's real cute. This will be pretty when it gets done. Oh, I forgot I'd done that one. I was going to do this one next. I haven't. See how I made her little flowers on top of her hat? That's what I colored it in. These were stamps that I used. Um, I stamped with a permanent ink. Like from card stamps. 
I thought that turned out kind of pretty. So this is the, my next one I need to do. See, I did the little flowers on her head, on her hat, rearranged it. Mm -hmm. Little mice picking up the little berries from the tree. the end of that book oh my god i think one page i wanted to show you that i did in the symphony of cute animals i'm not going to go all the way through this book when i color more in it we'll do but i only did one page so if you kind of look at one at a time. I used um, a little stamp, enjoy a little things. I put these corner stamps in here and then I stamped these little butterflies in here and it looks cute. And I did use um, distressed ink on these. I have a little tiny brush and I just started putting all different color purples on those and on the yellow and then um, I used pencil on all the rest oh I did with the green too I did some distressed ink and then I um, came back in with the pencil and and filled them in I thought that turned out cute and I just love this picture I thought he turned out so adorable and even the background and the flowers and the trees and I just loved it. And I'm sure I used the Prisma on them. I used um, distressed ink in the back and some in the tree in the trees in the far background and the sky, distressed ink, and then uh, pencils with the rest. But I, I just think I remember my bunny, how I couldn't get the hair. And I'm getting better and better at it. So see, practicing. Practice, practice, practice. That's what we got to do. And this was with, I can see, distressed ink in the log. And then I just made little tiny, tiny curlicues to make the moss on the log. So that's pretty much the end of this book and this story. And I just want to hope you've enjoyed it. And thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope um, we'll see you again soon. Find somebody to do something just out of the ordinary kind to. Remember, nobody's told you I love you. I love you. Bye, guys.